Hey, welcome back. You know, God doesn't look on the outward. God looks on the inward. This is what he told, he told Samuel. He said, but the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his physical, his appearance or at his physical stature. This is the biggest mistake that men make. They judge by what they see with their senses. They do not understand everything that God can see about a person. Or at his physical state, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. This is a broad statement that God is imparting to Samuel. Because the firstborn son, God has now clearly refused him. And, and God is speaking to him in real time as he's, as he's looking at the sons of Samuel, of Jesse. He's looking at these sons and, and he's saying, I see differently. I see differently. And so, uh, you know, uh, Jesse calls Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And the Lord said, neither has the Lord chosen this one, second born. Then Jesse made Shammah pass by. And the Lord said, neither has the Lord chosen this one. I, you know, this goes on for some time. And when we come back the next time, in the next session, I'll talk a little bit about uh, how it gets to David just briefly. But uh, it's important that God had to make the statement to Samuel up front. I'm not judging. I'm not looking for a king based on how strong he is, based on how good looking he is, based on how he's going to perform in front of people, based on his military prowess, based on all of these things. I'm not looking at what all the natural people look at. I'm looking at what's in the heart. Now, when we talk about our own desires and reaching for a dream and dreaming to reach for things that God wants for us, I keep stressing this, reaching for the things that God's got for us. Because if I reach for my own dream and the dreams that I think I've got, I'm kind of going along the lines of what Samuel was doing. I'm looking at the things that are possible for me. I'm looking at what my resources can accomplish. Perhaps my own physical knowledge of, uh, or my own knowledge base of my own talents, of my physical capabilities, of my circumstantial things that can or may or may not be possible. There's many ways that I might judge my own self capabilities. I might hear people talk to me about how if I do this, number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I do these ten things in this order and I give attention, then I can make all of these things come true for me. That's all physical appearance stuff. That's all natural as men sees things. Now, I, you know, if there are natural things that we can do that can benefit us, good. But the thing that's most important for us is to know what the will of God is. For he doesn't see things in the natural the way that we do. He doesn't see limitations as we might see them. He also doesn't see uh, um, this thing. You know, oftentimes people look at someone else's status in life and they say, if I can become like that or if I can have what they have, that's almost an envious competitiveness where you say, that's a measure of what I consider to be successful. That's a measure of ambition that I would like to have to achieve those things in life. Well, again, that's all natural things. If I look to the things of what God wants, then I know it's all about the heart. It's not, it's not about the physical stuff in the world. And so God had to talk to, Je to, uh, to Samuel and say, Samuel, I'm not interested in the natural world. And so I'm telling you now, it's not about natural appearance. It's not about the physical world. I'm looking to the heart. I know what I see in the heart. And when the right person comes to you, I'll tell you who that person is because it's about his heart, not about his outward appearance. And I look forward to sharing with you some of the things that happened when Samuel chose David. Thank you. I'll see you next time.